Well, we have chugged along so far. We are getting into the, well, nitty gritty part of the day as we have now gotten to our final four teams here at the Saints Colleague Rocket League Invitational hosted at St. Clair College. And wow, we got another good one. It's Oakland going up against the juggernauts of Northwood. Well, Oakland coming off of a hot 3-0, rolling into this series, and they're feeling confident as, uh, as we talked to uh, Tysonic Boom earlier on. The team is clicking on all cylinders right now, and most importantly, not changing their game as they take on RLC, or sorry, CRL's top team and, of course, the CRL fall champion in Northwood. On the other side, it's going to be Northwood, who have been near perfect so far at this tournament, looking to do the same again as they look for their berth into the grand final spot. Well, it's going to be a good one. Oakland have the work cut out for them, but they know that they're capable of taking down just about anybody. We'll throw it down to the caster's desk to get this thing started. Speaking of teams on a run, Oakland University is one of them. Not only have they impressed everyone here through their semi or their quarterfinal run, through their round robin run, they also did just get a best of seven sweep against Southern Mississippi, which is one of the teams that everyone has their eyes on. That's, of course, with Zath, Melodic, Astro. They swept them in a best of seven. So Oakland could not be in any better form to go against our current CRL fall champion here. Right, they look so comfortable, and they've been looking so comfortable so far in their first playoff matchup as well. I mean, we talked about them going through Davenport. We casted that. We saw just how one-sided that was in a matchup that me and you both thought were honestly going to have at least a couple Tight. of overtimes yeah. or go to game five, right? A nail-biter. It just wasn't in the cards. I think that, you know, they're playing so well. We were talking about that to Sonic Boom being that main guy, and Whale doing a lot on the defensive end as well, but to Sonic Boom being that main guy to kind of have that mid control, he has a way of just being able to carry the ball on the dribbles down the ground, able to find that interference, running it for Peep to finish. I mean, Peep scored, I'll make a little prediction here. I I'm almost sure that Peep scored around like 10 goals in that series. <laughs> And, I mean, it was just nothing short of amazing to watch. Yeah, I, I, it's just insane because, yes, this is an Oakland that doesn't have Jay Wismont, right? So, technically, you know, their best player, they're not on the team, but they've been able to fill in all the gaps in the roster. However, it's one thing to go against, you know, bubble CRL teams and, and even top CRL teams. It's another thing to go against the likes of Northwood, the goats of collegiate Rocket League filled with all-star Rocket League Championship Series talent. We'll see if Oakland is up to the challenge in this best of seven here at the Saints X Colleague Invitational. You said it best. Let's get it started. And right now with Zanil on a quick solo play, he's going to get caught out. Hockey, the sidewall redirect, looking for line. Blaze off the backboard. Does he have him? Yes, he does. That's going to be your answer. Northwood, strike first. Northwood, quick work. You can see the omelet. You can see the TSM. These are professional players through and through, and they are showing it here in the server. Oakland, the onus is on you to respond. Can you continue your form and take it to the best? Well, it's going to be hard against, you know, a, a guy in hockey who plays top three and the other two in line, Blazin Zanil, placing top eight, making G2 go to seven games. I mean, this is a squad filled with so much talent. It's only going to be a time can tell uh, scenario. Oakland, you have to try to make something work here. You know, what you were doing against Davenport was the ideal way to run your offense. The overcommit does come through, though. Whoa. And is that in the net? No just wide, almost making them pay though. You don't want to give Northwood any opening even in transition, so that's a flip reset. Maybe look for an aerial bump. Lion Blaze gets there and another demo for Zanil tearing apart Oakland from the inside. Right, I mean, Lion Blaze showing the mechanics, trying to get the musky flick, but it just didn't happen. Just advancing the ball. Hockey, does he have the reset? No, not quite. If he did, that would have been a scoop shot. You can imagine that would have gone upper 90. Peep advancing the plays, and Neil on the corner can read it from playtime. Let Lion Blaze kind of sort out stuff on the other end. Gets the demo as well to boot, and the clear does come through, though. Hockey trying to run back the offense. Peep has been such a pivotal, pivotal player for Oakland. To see it here, Whale, again, another long-standing CRL member, has his fair share of playing Northwood in previous iterations to now. 
No boost for him. He's in the ult. Over two. Looking for the transition. That's just going to be an open net. Yep. That will do it for Northwood 2-0 here. That is the third time so far in this game that we've seen that ball cross the orange half, and there hasn't been a single soul back to defend. They are catching them right now, lacking in the backside. Oakland is sending their third man just a little too far up. Whether it's miscoms or whether it's just jitters on the playoff stage, they need to sort it out quick because a team like Northwood is not going to answer or, or play around with you when you give them those opportunities. Now, all the way across, Peep will be looking for a teammate. Lion Blaze collects, no boost but will still try and move that goalpost because, of course, it's Lion Blaze. Peep, getting the 50. And look at that, you can already see Oakland. They're trying some moves to be able to re-aggress to immediately rebound in transition and take it to Northwood while they're unprepared and still rotating back. But Northwood are literally ready for it every single time. Peep though, that looks like it will be a goal for Oakland here off of a beautiful touch to get around the last defender. And right as you bring up just how sound the defensive rotation is, of course we had to cast a curse a little, just, a, just, a, just type it. So Oakland's gonna be able to find their first goal off the back of a little bit of an overcommit off of Northwood, but so much more work to be done here. The ball has practically never left that orange side of the field up until just recently. So Oakland, you have a lot to work with now. And again, not a lot of time to do it. Good, another good clear. Hockey, low boost, will have to get the save. Two man on for Oakland, playing aggressive, looking for another attempt as well. Whale stays in the mix, looking for a bump potentially. Tysonic taking the boost. Hockey, Zanil playing aggressive, looking for the demo, and he does. Being that facilitator for Lion Blaze, Lion Blaze can't get there quick enough. Oakland already in transition, pass over to Zanil. Pete needs to cut him off, and he tries to, but the 50 will be in the midfield. It's going to be a fight to see who can take control of it. Zanil rushing down Oakland, trying to delete them from the server. Right, I mean, Oakland are just kind of hanging on by a thread here. Every single attack that ends up happening from Northwood, it is so threatening. They always have the control to keep the man on the ball. Their solo plays that then mix into passes. It's so just difficult to read out if you are Oakland. You need to try to find some way to kind of get Northwood guessing because right now they have that going vice versa. The clear does come out though. Peep needs to try to beat Zanil to it, but it's not going to happen. Boost. With five boosts in the tank, he's going to pick up the 100 in hockey and he can go for the challenge now. Beat out though. Ceiling recovery, so we should be able to just sit on the backboard. Yep, in case of a shot coming through. Oh, Peep trying pass. to get the pass oh. and test that. And it is going to work. A beautiful passing play by Oakland. And that's exactly what you needed to do in order to get yourself back into it. And One look, minute left. Look at this awareness from Oakland, recognizing that there is no challenge coming. Zanil has already gone. Lion Blaze and Hockey are waiting for the shot on both the goal line and the backboard. We have all the room in the world to make a plastic passing play of that sort. Now, Whale, can you secure the lead? A 50, a shot saved by Northwood. Another one potentially peep, trying to force it through. Nothing will come. Hockey in transition will be able to get the save. Another one, a redirect going back and forth to see who can get the lead here. 40 seconds down and with an aggressive 50 coming through. Where's the shooter? It's going to be the misread though from I believe it was uh, to Sonic that was up. So just whiffing there, but now the clear comes through past to Sonic. It's going to be Zanil carrying the pressure. Hockey able to cut off the clear. He has the corner. The demo does come through. They are down a defender right now, but Oakland doing a good job to get the clear out. 20 seconds remaining. Zanil, low boost. Whale trying to challenge. And again, that is that strategy of Oakland being as annoying as possible, going for these awkward touches, making themselves unpredictable to Northwood, who, let's be honest, have been facing off against RLCS competition for the better half of months now. And we will be going to overtime for game one. Right, I mean, tensions running high here. This game is so tense, but you cannot no tell me way. that it's going to end like that. No are you absolutely, oh, are you kidding me? Just a kickoff going wrong. It's going to be the whiff from two Oakland players. Lime Blaze just able to carry it through. And that has got to be the most mentally taxing way to finish out a game of Rocket League. Oakland, oh yeah, you can see <laughs> they're just yeah, laughing like, it off. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just a brief sweat on the brow. We're just going to wipe that off. Oakland taking a sip of water. 
and just relaxing, trying to reset the mental. That one can be tilting, but at least you have a full best of seven to work with. Again, all of these games going forward will be best of seven, two semifinals and a grand final. Oakland, they flew close to the sun and they are flying ever closer. Now they just need to get that win. Well, we'll see what they can do. They sort of were able to fire a response after going down two goals. So, you know, no pushovers on the side of Oakland. You just hate to see the first game end that way. But you got to move on and you can't let it affect you, especially up against a team like Northwood. Any little bit of mental that oh. goes wrong could really do you in. And it almost did there. Line blaze with the shot, but it was going to be Good saved ball. out. Bumping play coming through on the side of Northwood. They're getting a little bit physical. The redirect possibly from Hockey down to Zanil now. And he has the second touch as well. The pass comes through, but Hockey just not able to get the touch. Well, trying to collect. Play calm. Oakland slowing down the pace of play. Realizing that if we're trying to move at the pace of Northwood, that is a losing battle. That is one that is very difficult to win, even for the best players in the world. So why not try and just change things up? Zanil, look at the solo. Pete needs to get there. Zanil, Wales in the waiting, going to be able to knock it up high, to prevent any further damage. To Sonic's going to send the clear up. Whale looking to match. Lion Blaze, of course, is there. Hockey even alleviating the pressure with the demo. And this will be a continued pressure for Oakland. Despite that, however, Northwood doing every single piece they can to mitigate the damage. And for a second there, I really liked what Pete was doing there in the back line, just running interference, being as annoying as possible, getting the boost steal, having his name called off the back wall, but Whale will be able to get the clear out. Shot comes through, scoop shot just off the bar there from Zanil. Nothing too troubling so far, but when you're starting to get low on boost right now in Oakland, you see the numbers, they're only off of 12. Literally they have zero. absolutely nothing. They need to try to find a clear, and Lion Blaze and Zanil are going to look to probably continue this offense. Ceiling play, I believe he has the pinch going for the double and it's just not going to happen. The read was not found. Pass, pass. down to Lion Blaze. It's going to get past Peep. Uh-oh. A little bit of a mishap on the side of Northwood. No, you can see they were trying to just juke out the defender and play a little weird themselves. Peep especially being the one with most boost. Being able to do so. Peep sending it across. That will be, of course, taken care of by Hockey. Oakland trying to just collect and keep control in the midfield and start to just get some boost for themselves and do anything they can to even start that Northwood so they can stop and just get out of their half. It's going to be Zanil with the quick coverage down for the clear as well. Wave dashing on the wall just to try to maneuver that ball into an awkward position. Hockey low boost, but he does have the high 50 and now Lion Blades trying to run the pass, but the shot will not come through. Now. Fight for the midfield continues. Neil even playing that ones with like no boost, but showing how aggressive Northwood can be when they want to be. Though to Sonic is going to be able to get this go. clear across. To Sonic opens things up for Oakland first. And that's exactly what they needed, right? I mean, coming off the back of just a tragic overtime loss due to kickoff goal, you need to strike and you need to strike first. You have that lead now. Not saying that necessarily holding against Northwood's the best strategy to go for. It's going to be very difficult to do. But now you can look to try to get that insurance goal. The double demo coming down from Hockey, though. Oh, uh, well, wow. It's going to be Hockey with yet another demo. Three demos in the span of five seconds. And Hockey is going absolutely ballistic. Listen, I've seen some of the best collegiate teams that presented a challenge to this Northwood squad throw so many leads. That, I mean, a WVU at full strength, a Akron Blue at full strength. None of them can hold a lead against a Northwood for that long. And that is just how much ice Northwood University have in their veins. Of course, they're in Michigan. It's cold there. They're used to, I mean, yeah, they're used to this kind of temperature, this kind of weather. Maybe just kind of, you know, having that little environmental advantage, right? It might be the reason why we see St. Clair as well earlier in this tournament. Uh, Dude, it did so snow. Good. It did snow on it, my way it, here. Yes, it's, it's, it did. it's an omen. But. As for right now, what matters is the current matchup. Hockey with, I believe, a flip reset, trying to just force the 50 on to Sonic Boom. The clear will come through from Peep. With a minute left right now, it is actually going to be Northwood who need to kind of figure out something in order to start the attack, but it shouldn't be too hard for them. The pass off the backboard should yeah. be the double from Hockey, and it's going to be just that. If you leave a backboard open against these players, it's almost a guaranteed goal. 
A little bit of a mistake there defensively from Oakland, and it's one all. Yeah, this is where Oakland start to get punished a little bit by trying to play that weird play style of, you know, challenging every single ball they can because they do pay the price of not playing a conventional Rocket League defense. And in this case, it's going to hurt even more. Lion Blaze not able to get the open net. Peep, low boost. Defensive rotation starting to struggle as they're scrambling to collect some of that boost on the pads, looking for some big pads. Clear across will finally give some room. Lion Blaze collecting though, last 30 seconds of this game, tie game. We talked about how difficult it was to hold a lead against Northwood. That proves to be the case here. Right, I mean, now it's just about, can we even get it to overtime? Right now, the number one thing in Oakland's mind is to not throw this lead. But as the offense comes through, that is going to be a critical oh, no. touch from Peep there to force the ball to the sidewall. Oh, no. He needs to try to defend hockey, flip off the ceiling, can't use it to na navigate the ball down. It's going to drop down to Zanil, pop up potentially, but it's not going to happen. The bump in the net though, but the ball will drop to a resounding halt as we head in to our second straight overtime. Second overtime and hopefully a different result for Oakland. And that will net them a better one. Keep 50. Whale, I wanted you to clang that so hard, but I understand. Play passive when you need to, though you potentially leave yourself open to someone torpedoing towards the ball like Zanil, especially when it comes to demos. Though, we're going to trade demos. Lion Blaze looking for the 1v2 potential. Be able to get a decent 50. Zanil leading the challenge on the sidewall. That looks dangerous. You got to play this carefully. Lion Blaze coming in hockey. Last man back. Pass over to Zanil. And Oakland doing everything they can to try and secure this yeah. overtime, but it was not meant to be hockey securing game two's overtime. And when you kind of get spread thin on defense, I saw Lion Blaze earlier, you know, he's just trying to make that play to try to get the pass down. And then what do they do? They steal boost, right? So, I mean, just getting Oakland down on boost numbers, they were kind of low and they couldn't get back to their defensive rotation in time. Hockey beating it out. And uh, just honestly, a wonderful play from Northwood. Explainable why they're up 2-0 right now in the series. It's insane because Northwood have actually played so many overtimes today, like more than they have in regulation. You would think they'd be they, fatigued. You would think. Well, not even just that, but I mean, just by like chance, you would think, okay, we've played so many overtimes, but like we haven't lost like any of them. And the fact that they're still clutching it out in these overtimes, I can't tell if it's because they're going to overtimes and they're struggling, or if they're just playing so icy that when they go to overtime, they know they're going to win immediately. Right, well, I mean, it's just about that confidence, right? I mean, all these players, you know, especially with the experience that all three oh, of these guys oh, have. Well, you would think why? it's going to be incredible, but let's talk about this for a minute. Well, on the dribble, gets the flick, tells Anil to hit the weight room. It's going to be Oakland opening up the scoring. Whale came flying in like a whale. Now Oakland with the 1-0 lead, forcing Northwood in the back foot again. No Even way. more so, Whale, where have you been? Just an absolutely brilliant start on the side of Oakland. They needed that kickoff. You know, they have that insurance goal now. This is the best start they could have asked for. They are down 0-2 now but uh, in the series, but if you were ever going to come back, this is what needs to happen. And I believe that's actually not a very even good third kickoff now. This should be open yet again. Hockey just going through, getting the quick save and slowing down everything for now. Back starting to slip a little bit for Northwood. We're seeing some whiffed shots. Northwood having to fight from pretty far behind now. I can't remember the last time they were down 2-0. Single series today. Hockey, look for the easy. Demos coming through for Northwood. They're trying to play this more methodical. They're recognizing where their advantage is, and it is not chasing down balls against a team that is playing so hot like Oakland. It is deleting yeah, people oh, no. from the server <laughs> like flying torpedoes coming down on Oakland. I mean, Look at this. Look three, at Pete. Oh one. my god. I mean, god. that literally feels like that, that feels like the LeBron alley on Jason Terry. That was just absolutely <laughs> disgusting. I mean, even just line blaze, foregoing the duty of even having the shot and just trying to find a bump or something to go awry for the side of Oakland. Now, Oakland almost did have yet another kickoff goal. It was Whale just narrowly missing. So while it was a beautiful goal from Northwood and they did catch Oakland lacking, 
They still have to find another one with 350 remaining. I'm just, I'm baffled because if you take a screenshot of that, it, it literally just looks like Northwood just coming in to just destroy you, to just oh, yeah. gang up on <laughs> you, to completely rock your world. And that's what they did. And like, they were so committed to getting that demo to delete Peep from the server that they were willing to do anything, including flying demos. Now, Peep, maybe getting the flip reset on one to Sonic is almost getting the rebound on it, but a little awkward yeah. from Northwood. So we'll see if they can keep it going. Limeblaze has to really try to find a strong clear out here. Has Zanil in the back, and that's probably been calmed out. Trying to find a pass maybe to him off the ceiling, but I'm going to be red out. Just Hockey trying to stay back. Hopefully gets the beat, and that is going to be what happens. The pass down from Zanil to Hockey, but the shot won't come through. Limeblaze, low boost, trying to force a corner touch. Maybe get the pad on the backside. It is going to be just that. And oh, so far, Zanil. Northwood, this is getting a little bit scary. Zanil with a flip reset. Pass wow. down to Limeblaze, but it's not going to happen to Sonic Boom being able to be the first one to it. Even with the bump, though, on Hockey, he's still able to recover. The defenseman, of course, prevails. Now with Peep. I haven't seen too much from him. It's This has been a whale effort for this game, but I think with Peep, not only does he need to be strong on the defense, which he has been, but we need to see a bit more of his masterclass in the offensive end of the pitch. Zanil down past to Lion Blaze. Again, we mention it. Northwood, you cannot hold them down. You cannot hold a lead. And it's just so tough. Again, they're giving them too much room. Oakland is giving Northwood too much space to work with. It doesn't even matter that Lion Blaze couldn't put that ball in because, again, they realize the backboard's open. No matter how you hit this ball, we have the third man tracking up, and there's no one else behind. You can take advantage. The bump almost coming through Lion Blaze, being the first one up. Backflips just to try to reestablish that mid-boost possession. And now it is going to be Whale with the play. Has a little bit of control, but zero boost. Can't force a 50 too far off the ball. To Sonic Boom drop down pass to absolutely no one. You can't commit there. So oh, bump, game. bump. A little bit of a scary bump, like you said, but just nothing so far working from it. Seems like tensions are rising hot here as we just cross the two minute line. No, I, I, I like what Oakland is doing though. They're recognizing, okay, we can't really stop Northwood in transition now. They're so dangerous, but we can open things up in the event that they are in transition so that when we do get that clear back, we have an immediate opening. They've been trying at it over and over and over again. This one clangs downfield. Hockey can't get to it. Oakland secure the lead again. And it's gonna be Peep finally finding the scoreboard. You know, last series, he was just absolutely electrifying, and he was the guy just wherever you needed him to be to find that goal, he was right there. Shooter shoot, and they score. Peep finally finding the board, putting Oakland up 3-2. Now again, Oakland, the onus is on you. Yep, no boost. Up. Peep, again, rely on those cuts. Don't give the space to anyone, especially Lion Blaze and Zanil, even looking for the bumps to try and make it more difficult for Northwood to get a shot. They're doing basically everything they can, and even with it, Zanil over to Hockey. Lion Blaze getting a demo for himself, but now Oakland looking to recover, and they do. Zanil cutting to keep the possession out of Oakland's hands. Shot coming in from Hockey. It's a bit high. Lion Blaze coming in for the rebound. Buddy whiffs. Right, I mean, just reestablishing that boost in the midfield. He has the control going for the ground pinch, able to find Ooh. it, but the two defenders there and not much speed on it. Peep trying to be the first one up. Flip reset maybe, forcing the 50 off the flip. And now Zanil has to beat the guy in the backfield. It's not going to happen, though. Setting up for a little bit of a interesting hold here from that just, Northwood. That just I thought it was just in for a second. I would have gotten scared there. You know, Northwood, you really have to start putting all your eggs in one basket. I thought the musty flip was coming in there, but it's actually going to be down the pass. Sunil not finding the scoreboard, though. So many shots are coming in, and I would love to see the shot total after this because it feels like Northwood has just been attempting so many different ideas in the span of 30 seconds. Now a demo coming in through. Hockey, not close to it, going to play the defense, and he does. Smart, again, won't find too many people with better defensive IQ than Hockey. Shot down low lion blaze going to collect potentially trying for a solo gets over one no it's way. awkward it's in again lion blaze the crl goat prevails and i mean you can't let this kid have all the air time he took g2 to seven games we can't let him just do solo plays like that the save should have came in from the oakland defender but the shot was just so well placed not the best touch as well it seems that unless Northwood can get another goal here, which is still probable. Ball still in the air. Could be grounded for our third overtime straight. Our third consecutive overtime. 
And once again, Oakland will look for a different no. result, and it will not happen. Northwood, their third overtime in a row. Again, it's just the whiff from Tasonic Boom. He didn't have the play read out. Backboards open. That's never going to be a miss in a million years, especially when you look at the shooter. Listen, if I lost three overtimes in a row oh, within a the span right of now. 10 seconds, my gone. monitor is out my window. I switched to my other one, and I accidentally put my foot through my PC, and my controller is broken. Yep. Um, and you can see Raz, or Raz, excuse me, calling a timeout. Be, tr you won't find someone who is more tranquil than Roz. He is such a jokester and a meme artist that, like, dude is the definition of chill. Of course, being part of the historic Oakland roster previously with the likes of J-Cube, who went ahead and made top eight at the CRL World Championship in 2022. So glad to see that he's sticking around to try and mentor this next generation of Oakland players, which before the past three games have clearly been working, but we all know Northern is a different animal. So they will try again and again and again until eventually they either win or they're eliminated. But I even just want to like highlight that first play there, right? I mean, just making the defender awkward, the pressure, the threat of the bump coming through. They are making Oakland so like awkward on their own back line right now. And it ends up making the backboard open up. It's been honestly kind of the bread and butter for how Northwood's been able to start these shots. Double and it's touch. going to almost be the other, uh, the, the next uh, example again. I mean, right now Northwood are catching Oakland with the backboard completely open. Hockey trying to start the play, 416 in. Sonic, again, with Oakland, I'm, I'm wondering, just I would be so curious as to where their mental's at. That's a bad touch from Zanil. Whale, can you get there? It's just barely in, and Peep secures it for Oakland. And that was kind of what we were seeing from the past series. We need to see Peep in these positions more often. Just when you need a goal, it's just lingering right there. The play's been made. Who's going to finish it? It's usually going to be Peep for Oakland. They put Oakland up 1-0 with four minutes left. But we were saying right now, even with the goal lead, it is so hard to hold, let alone win a game versus Northwood. And if this one goes to a fourth consecutive overtime, I'm even going to say it right now. I do not see Oakland pulling this one out. So we have a lot of game ahead of us. We have just about four minutes, and yes, Oakland have uh, lost three leads, which is fine. That's fine, guys. It's okay because they have another chance to try again. Zanil getting the demo. Zanil trying for another demo. This one's going to go down and in from Lion Blaze. And you know, Oakland, they were covering their backboard this time. But it's already been read out by Northwood, so they just tell Zanil, hey, there's a guy on the backboard, send it. And he absolutely does. Freeing up that backspace is able to get Line Blaze the clean shot on net, but the Oakland defender just kind of discombobulated from the backboard play. And now Northwood trying to go up yet again. The backboard open yet again, but it will be the shot 50 out by Peep. Wailed now with the clear, 63 boost in hand, using the wave dash to get down. Has a little bit of an air dribble, but no more boost. Has to look for maybe a flip reset or a 50 to keep the ball going. Help will come Shot. through by his teammates. To Sonic. To Sonic. Do you have the double? Not quite, but the bump maybe on the defender. No! And that's a chance that Oakland definitely want back. That's just a mech diff, for sure. You know that if it was Zanil or whatever, they are definitely getting the flip reset shot and in, but Oakland don't rely on that. Oakland don't rely on insane mechs to make it work. This one, Zanil pre-jumping that to try and get the dunk is so That's bonkers and insanely confident from Northwood. I, I can't, like... They're in their bag right oh, now. Oh, that That's a mental hurts. That's, that's mental boom. And in I mean, real time, everyone. Yeah, th this is going to definitely be the sad one uh, for Oakland. Also loses you the lead now with two minutes and 40 seconds left. I mean, y you have the timeout from the coach. You need to listen to the words now. You have to run them through your ears once more. You can't let the mental chalk you. What is it going okay. to take? Can Oakland no. climb themselves out of this hole they've put themselves in? That's a chance they're gonna want back yet again. And it just seems like they just can't convert on the attack. No. And the thing is, at this point, mentally, this is a mental wall. This is 
a iron curtain that Northwood has laid down in front of Oakland. With two minutes remaining, there's still time for it to work, but you need to do something to regain that motivation, to regain that mental against the best CRL team in the nation, and that will be a demo and a save from Northwood. And I mean, just when you thought the shot was coming through, just when you thought the pressure was starting to ramp up, Lime Blaze makes a Lime Blaze play. He gets the save, not only off the sidewall, then finds the demo to free up space, which is now fueling this Northwood attack. And Oakland, this is a very scary sight. Down 3-0, they're on series point right now as Northwood. Your tournament life's on the line, and touches like that from Peep are not going to help you. Oh, the shot probably nailed. should have went in from yeah. Zanil, but a little bit awkward to control. Getting the flip reset off the backboard, can't convert though from hockey. It is going to be the backboard defense that comes through, but that was a close shave, and Zanil almost made the open backboard pay for it. Hockey, still in position to make it work though. Double commit from the Oakland side will do you make it dangerous? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, this is insane. Oh my lord. <laughs> that, I like, I, I want to say they're almost <laughs> trolling now. Like, these pre-jump passes that they're going for is stuff you wouldn't even see in RLCS at the top level. They are just kind of doing whatever they want because they know that they have the freedom to and the mechs to. And I feel bad for Oakland because, honestly, they, they've played a good series. They've played a great tournament thus far. It's just... Listen, it's Northwood. Yeah, it's Northwood. It's, that, 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 it's, it's literally just Northwood. Zanil off the corner, going to Lion Blaze, 100 boost in the tank, able to get around one, going for the. Is they, are they just trying to go for an aerial pinch? It kind of looked like, you know, Lion Blaze was just kind of chilling there, telling Zanil, like, hey, you know, I can stay on this ball for hours if I want to. You just decide when you want to come through and make the play go. But it didn't happen. Northwood able to get the clear off their own backboard to Sonic Boom, has boost, has space, but can't get it around the Northwood defender. Hockey getting bumped in the back line, but at this point in time, right, it needs to be this final offense. High touch, not the, quite the touch you want. The pass does come off the backboard, but it should be the spike down from Northwood, clearing it into the back line. Peep does have 100 boost. He can try to make a play here. He is going to elect to obviously keep it up. They need that goal, but the team bump as well in the corner is not going to help. Wait Running off of fumes right now. The demo comes through. The pass comes through. Wait. No one there to shoot as the demolition took out the potential shooter in the rotation. Brilliantly done by Northwood as they take the sweep. Wow. You know... I've casted a lot of Northwood games, okay? Almost all of them have been Northwood wins because they're a fantastic team. Um, I've casted them destroying my favorite teams. I've casted them destroying my friends. I've casted them completely wrecking brackets. I have never casted a game that as a player, I would find more frustrating than that series. To be on oh, yeah. the edge, <clears throat> the cusp of even taking a single game with three consecutive overtimes and a one goal deficit in game four, that is absurd to be able to hold that mental over someone and a team. Either way, Oakland, kudos. You really, really had a good run. And even if it was a sweep, it was as close as it could possibly be. But Northwood is Northwood. And that's what makes their players some of the best in the world, right? <clears throat> is just, you know, third straight overtime in what has most likely been overall your like 18th overtime play today, right? Well, let's be honest here. And they haven't lost a single one. And they find themselves down two goals in one of those games. Come back find themselves down one in the game four as well, but you already have the lead at that point. So, you know, there's not really much stress there. If you're looking at Oakland, I just hope I don't go outside and see one of our PCs just completely in two. <laughs> That's, I mean, I'm, I'm being honest. That it, That is the most frustrating series, like you said, the most malding series that I think I've ever 